Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another V Jump review. Today we are going to be going over May 2019's V Jump issue. I was going to do this video like as soon as I got it because I actually got this a long while ago. But I've just been so busy with other stuff that I haven't had the time to do it. But I finally got around to it. So, we're going to go over, I actually haven't even gone through this issue yet. Usually, as soon as I got it, I flip right through it. But when I got it, I was on my way to somewhere else. But anyway, doesn't matter. So, let's take a look at it. First of all, we can see the cover. Gotcha. Don't think you're going to catch me slipping, boy. Cover is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V, the protagonist from the show. By the way, um, tell me if you guys like this angle, because last time the angle was really awkward and I was like... You know, kind of like showing it to you like this and like trying to look up on the thing. So, I tried a different angle where you could see the whole book. And I think that'll probably work a little bit better. Uh, because it'll just look better in general too. So, let me know if you like that angle a little bit better than the last one. Anyhow though, that's the cover. Here's the back advertisement for Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. They're still trying to, you know, advertise it a little bit. Um, I think everybody that's going to buy it right now has probably bought it. And everybody else who will get it for Christmas will probably get it for Christmas. Anyway... We do get three cards in here. We will go over them as we get to them. The only unfortunate thing with this particular issue is that you don't get a Dragon Ball Heroes card. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Most of the time you do, but once in a while they'll have an issue where they don't have a Dragon Ball Heroes card. I don't know if it's because they're just trying to highlight something else, or if they just didn't have a promo lined up for that time. I do know that, I'm not sure if it's in the next issue or the issue after that, there is a Gogeta promo that's going to be coming in a V-Jump, so very excited to show you guys that. Let's take a look. Um, I do believe in this one, so we got some uh, Deborah May Cry there and Dragon's Dogma. I do believe in this issue, Dragon Ball Park is not in the beginning since it's more of like a Yu-Gi-Oh focused issue. This is actually really cool. I really like this panel. I don't know who that guy is. Um, I'm not familiar on the more current Yu-Gi-Oh series. I stopped about here with Zexel with Yuma. Um, but nonetheless though, still a very cool looking piece of art. Um, I'm assuming this Legacy of the Duelist is... Oh, it's out now actually. Okay. Maybe I'll actually try that out. Well, it's in Japanese, so maybe not because I prefer to read the English Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Funny that I play JP Dokkan and just said that. Okay, so we do have SDBH Ultimate Tour. Obviously, this is only in Japan. That Gogeta render seems new. That's interesting. I really like that though. Very cool. Um, they do this in Japan sometimes where so they have like a tour where they go around and sometimes they do tournaments and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, if I lived in Japan, I'd definitely be all about that. Turning to the next page here, um, Jump Victory Carnival 2019. I believe this is another like event thing that they have in Japan every year. Um, I recognize the style from this particular event because they always have this like their own art style for it. Love that Goku render though. As you can see up there, Weekly Jump X V Jump X. What is that? I'm not exactly sure what that magazine is. Um, nonetheless though, very cool stuff. Another Yu-Gi-Oh thing. We'll again try and focus on more of the... Uh, the Dragon Ball stuff in here, but I still want to go through the beginning just in case. This is just talking about the new Switch game and the brand new um, Poplica dual disc, which is actually pretty cool. Um, if it wasn't so expensive, I might actually buy it and put it up on my wall because they do have the obelisk, or not the obelisk, the um, what was that thing called? The Seal of Ori Calcos dual disc. I do have that somewhere. Okay, so this is just talking about a bunch of Yu Gi Oh cards. We don't really need to look through too much of this. Um, still very cool though. Okay, so we are at our first promo card. Um, as you can see here, it's talking about a bunch of new Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and then we have our little slot, which I've obviously cut, um, and then we have a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh manga action going on there. Let's pause that for one sec and pull out the card. I do sleeve all of these cards just because, you know, it's like, it's a special promo card from, you know, a magazine that you can literally not get anywhere else. So, why would I not want to put it in a sleeve, even though, you know, it's something that I'm probably never going to use, or something that I'm probably never going to, like, you know, actively take a look at, you know, like I flip through my Heroes cards sometimes. But, you know, it's still good to keep stuff like this in good condition. A very nice hollow as well. And I do kind of like that rainbow background, and then the gold text up there. I, again, know nothing about this card, but if you want to tell me in the comments, feel free. But nonetheless, very cool. Alright, so obviously, oh, by the way, I don't know if I needed to mention, but that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Anyway, moving on. I do actually like to, um, I'd rather get a Yu-Gi-Oh card than some of the other stuff they get, but that's just from my perspective of knowing stuff that I know about what's in this book, right? 
Anyway, so Yu-Gi-Oh! manga stuff, I'm sure you could find this online somewhere else. Let's get to what we're really here for, which is the Dragon Ball stuff. Um, okay, so, I'm assuming this is like a, uh, this is like to order V-Jumper or something? I don't know. Something like that. It looks like one of those things in a magazine where you order it. Okay, so this has some Dragon Ball Heroes on it. It has some Yu-Gi-Oh on it. Um, ooh, there's our boy from World Mission. Okay, that's pretty cool. Does this, so this is Dragon Ball Park. Okay, so we're at the Dragon Ball Park section now, which is what we were looking for. Let's see. So is this just more... Yes, this is just more World Mission information. Oh, this is talking about how um, the... I believe what this is talking about is that this is talking about how all of the Broly stuff is coming to World Mission, which is really cool. Um, definitely very excited about that. It's a free update. It's been out for a little bit, actually. Um, these two as well. Oh, is this a special code? So if you guys don't know, they do have a code section in V-Jump where you can cut it open and then you can see all the codes inside. This looks like for the Japanese version, they're giving you V-Jump. Oh, they're like virtual V jump cards basically. So this Vegito and this Goku, instead of actually getting like a physical card for the Dragon Ball Heroes, you know, arcade game, you're getting two cards in the Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission game, obviously the Japanese version, because that's a, a code box right there. And you're also getting some other items, it looks like. Very, very cool. Unfortunately, I don't have the Japanese version. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy it just to uh, just to be able to show off those cards. That'd be kind of funny, but very cool that they did that. I didn't even realize that they really could do that, but I mean, I don't know. I don't see why they couldn't. Okay, so this is now actual Dragon Ball Hero stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the most uh, recent set, I believe, that's been released. They have this bootleg Gogeta-looking guy over here. Um, not really sure what his story is, because again, I don't speak Japanese, but we got a bunch of Super Saiyan 4 boys coming down there. There's Lagos, or Lagos, however you say her name, the new Vegeta card there. Very cool stuff. Alright, so yeah, that's Universe Mission 8. This is more Dragon Ball Hero stuff. I like that Vegito render a lot. That's really cool. Okay. Um, again, more stuff. I think this is a promo set right here. Still very cool nonetheless. What is up with their arm? Oh, they're all like swinging a character. Like, he's swinging Boo. Vegito's swinging Boo. Vegeta, I can't tell who he's swinging, but that's pretty cool. Oh, so I get it. So then that's the point of this, right? It's like swinging him around, and they're sort of emulating it on the screen. That's pretty cool. Okay, I like that. All right, so next page. Oh, that's a really cool page. That's nice. Not exactly sure what that's promoting, but nonetheless, <clears throat> very cool. Okay, next page. We're trying to get into some Dragon Ball stuff that we know here. Uh, yeah, so that's a Grand Prix Goku promo down there. There's a Buchigiri match thing. Oh, yay, they have a Buchigiri code in this one. Woo! What is that a golden card for? That is... What is that? I can't actually tell what card that is. It's so small. I guess I'll have to put it into my Buchigiri match um, account and get it. Cool. This, I believe, was talking about um, when these characters were getting boosts um, because they did like a new thing where they changed up the game a little bit. I will say, again, it is very weird how they do the advertising for Buchigiri specifically because this was like a couple of months ago that they did this and they're always kind of late on their advertising in V-Jump. I don't know why. It's like specifically Buchigiri. Like the other games aren't too far behind. This, of course, is DLC for God of Vegeta, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know why Buchigiri is um, always kind of behind. Everything else is, like, at least close. Okay, so, I know a page that all of you have been probably looking forward to. The Zamasu and Trunks page, very cool. Again, like, you know, obviously we see these scans, and that's really all the information we need from them, but it's very cool to be able to own, the, like, the real physical thing, you know what I mean? But still very cool to have, you know, this... As well, we can see we have the um, Goku DLC for fighters with the Kid Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Looks like some new costumes and that sort of stuff. Very, very cool stuff there. But yeah, I don't know. It's just really cool to be able to own this in like physical form. I do really like these V-Jumps. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, so this did come out um, this month, so Legends is on top of their game. The Broly from Second Coming and the Metacooler, which is really cool. Um, definitely some nice stuff there. 
And then, I don't know if you guys knew this, I actually didn't know this until uh, I saw it in this V-Jump. They're coming out with a Vegito Blue Figure Eye Standard figure, which is really cool. If you guys don't know what Figure Eye Standard is, um, it's basically the model kit line that Dragon Ball has. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if you can see that. Dude, that art on the box right there, that's sick. The art on the boxes for the Figure Eye Standard figures are always really good. They're basically, like a lot of people kind of consider them the next thing down from SH Figure Arts. I don't know if I necessarily compare them because one is a model kit and one is like a, you know, pristine articulated figure. And not that these aren't pristine, but you know, they're a little bit lower quality because you have to put them together in the plastic to make them, right? So, I don't know. Either way though, it looks like it does come with a blast part that's extra that looks like it's supposed to be for Gogeta, so that's pretty cool. Um, this, I'm not exactly sure what this is promoting. I believe it's this manga though. Very interesting. But yeah. Pretty excited for that Vegito Blue. Um, it does kind of stink that they do a whole separate release for just different hair, but I guess the other one did have a different gi because the Super Vegito was a little bit of a lighter blue. Okay, speaking of SH Figure Arts, I am very excited for this. So, <clears throat> there was announced a while ago that Broly you see at the top left, right? Super Saiyan or Fury Broly, whatever you want to call him. We have Gogeta Blue right now, um, and I believe he came with a base form head. And um, this Broly up here also came with this head, right, with the Super Saiyan head. But now we're getting this Broly, which is um, is like, well, I guess this is technically Fury, isn't it? I don't know. I never know what to call the green hair one and the base form one. But anyway, the base form one when his hair is all spiked up. It also comes with a head where his hair is down, which is really cool. And I think it comes with one more base form head. But I am actually getting this one. I never buy SH Figure Arts. I've only owned like one official Dragon Ball one, but I couldn't pass it up because this Broly is just so, so awesome. Very cool either way. Obviously, just some other advertisement for some Dragon Ball stuff there. World Adventure, by the way, this was something that they did um, last year where they went to the States and had like a Dragon Ball event here. I was not able to go. They actually did have Dragon Ball uh, Heroes arcade machines, which kind of, I think, was a little bit of a sprinkle to the precursor to World Mission, but nonetheless, though, still very cool. More information, I believe, is still coming out about that for this year. We do have Shikashi Art up here, which I have a couple of these. These are really cool. They come out with a couple of these every month. Um, very nice stuff. We have some Dragon Ball Adverge. They came out with a whole Broly movie line of all of the... I don't want to say, like, sub-characters, because these guys aren't really sub-characters, but, like, you know... Like... You know, base Broly and Paragus, you know, to people, I guess, aren't as exciting as Blue Gogeta and Green Hair Broly. You know what I mean? But the rest of them are definitely sort of sub-characters. Either way, though, still very cool. We have a new Gashapon set for the um, HD line with Namek stuff, which is pretty cool. Super Saiyan Goku, base Vegeta, Bulma, and Frieza. Another very cool thing here. I know my boy Baggy Saiyan is excited for this. Um, so these stickers, do I actually... Wait, hold on. Do I have one on hand? Um... Where did I just put them? I just had them. Oh, wait, hold on. So the stickers that we um, just opened in this video, I'll put one right there, or not in this video. Sorry, I'm thinking about another video I'm gonna record in like five minutes. My head's all over the place right now. Anyway, these stickers, right? Obviously the Japanese version of them, not the overseas version that we unboxed in another video, or if we haven't by the time you're seeing this video, then it will go up eventually. Nonetheless, though, right, these stickers are pretty popular in Japan, and it's like a, you know, kind of like a grab bag sort of thing, or a gotcha sort of thing, if you will, um, where, you know, you sort of like get a random sticker out of the bunch and try and get what you can get. They made some mini figures out of them, which is really cool. This one here is SSPK. There's a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta one and a Frieza one as well, but it's really cool that they made figures out of those little stickers, so super cool unfortunately i don't have the goku that that's actually based off of but you know figured i'd just show you something for reference okay moving on we do have all oh, this oh the art oh it's so cool i didn't know this was going to be in here but this is my phone background right now this is the cover for the dragon ball super movie manga oh my gosh I believe, um, what's the guy who did the, who's the new animator on Dragon Ball? His name's escaping me right now, but he made the cover. Shin, no, not Shintani. Um, I don't remember his name. You can correct me in the comments, because I'm not remembering right now, but he drew the cover. It's absolutely fantastic. The manga's out for it now. New manga chapter for Super. I know that this has been covered to high heck for a while now, um, so I'm not going to necessarily cover it in this video, but, you know, 
is here. Anyway, let's move on to the back. Um, we do have just a couple of more things. Yeah, it's just more manga. Just want to make sure. We do have a couple of more things to cover here. They just talk about the next chapter, some upcoming things. They talk about some upcoming heroes cards, whatnot. Um, Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission, stuff like that. I do really like that cover with Jiren up there. Alright, One Piece World Seeker. We're not going to go through too much here because, you know, the meat and potatoes of this is sort of... Um, the Dragon Ball stuff, but I will just kind of flip through it. We got Bounty Rush. That game finally got out of um, maintenance. That was the game that was in maintenance forever, right? Or was that Thousand Storm? One of the two. One of those One Piece games. They have four One Piece gotcha games? That one, Thousand Storm, Grand Collection, and Treasure Cruise? Really? Interesting. I know Treasure Cruise is the um, the most popular one. Jump Force. Ugh, All Might looks so bad, bro. This is, um, this game right here, I believe, is another Shonen Jump, um, gacha game. I do have to try that out eventually. I do like to try out every Shonen Jump gacha game that they do come out with, um, just because, I don't know. Most of them end up being pretty fun, or at least worth playing once in a while. Got some Hunter x Hunter stuff for Jumpudi. Um, some more advertisement. This game I don't think did too well. The, um, like the Smash Bros-esque Shonen Jump fighting game for mobile, um, but... You know, they obviously still advertise it in here anyway. Some Naruto stuff. Let's see, what else do we got in here? Some whatever that is. Actually, I don't know if I'm allowed to show that on YouTube. Hope so. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, Hunter Hunter. What's that over there? Kingdom Seven Flags. Interesting. No idea. All right, I think that is going to do it for this video because we're pretty much through everything that I think you guys would probably want to see. We got some Bleach Brave Souls. Go oh, wait, <gasps> Pitter Patter Pop is in here? Yo, my boy's on the big time. That's what's up. Yo, that's so sick. Okay. Yo, that's so cool. This is talking about how they just added um, these guys into the game. It's sort of like a campaign for them right now. That's actually so cool. All right, I see you. I see you, Pitter Patter Pop. Continuing on here, let's see. I do um, want to show you two things that I think we actually missed um, before we close out here, but I did want to highlight, I do see right here, we got some My Hero stuff, Smash Rising. We got the girls coming through. <sighs> I'm not going to talk about how much I'm disappointed in Smash Rising in this video again because I talk about it in like every video, but Smash Rising, Smash that boy with you. Anyway, we have these uh, My Hero Arcade little keychain things here, it seems interesting. Very interesting. Um, we have some Dragon Quest, some more Captain Tsubasa. If you remember, we did get a card from this in the past V Jump, I believe. Dragon Quest stuff. Okay. So let's kind of skip forward. Oh no, we haven't missed, um, okay, so I guess we haven't missed where the cards are. Let's kind of flip through a little bit. Um, we do have the next card, not here. Oh, there's a Dragon Quest manga in here. I didn't even know that. Okay, cool. Let's see. So here is where the next thing is. I don't know why they, uh, maybe this is just like the card game section here. Here, hold on, let me kind of get my bearings here. After the Dragon Quest, um, section, they for some reason have uh this I'm not sure why also this is kind of looks like a mix of characters that's the guy from uh blue exorcist and that is certainly not from the same series is this not like a oh no that is um the same thing and then for some reason here they have another dragon ball heroes ad i'm not sure why but okay anyway We've gotten a couple of these before, as you can see right here, we got the good old Monst card game um, with some more stuff here. I'm assuming this must be a pretty popular card game in Japan for them to keep including it in V-Jump. Um, the promo card is this one right here. Again, I have no idea anything about this card game. I do will say though, the back, um, here, let me actually take it out because you kind of can't see it. Um, the back of the card is really cool. Um, because it sort of has like a shine on the lines specifically of the card, which is really cool. Um, they just did a good job with it. Obviously, the front is just sort of like glossy, um, but I really like how they did the back where it like kind of shines on the actual like lines of the design. I think that's really cool. Nonetheless, though, they yeah, this this card game must be decently popular in Japan for them to keep including promos in V Jump for it. Again, I know nothing about it. Maybe I should do some more research on this stuff. But again, it's like, 
I already have so much stuff that I'm into, I really don't need another thing to be into, you know what I mean? Okay. Ooh, I do actually see something else that I want to go over real quick. Okay, so here's where we were. All right. So let's see. So we got our young monst card game here. Um, some more monst card game stuff. What is that? Monster Strike? Oh, really? Oh, no, that's Monster Strike. That's a uh, gotcha game that a lot of people in Japan actually really like. That's a very popular game. Interesting. There's going to be a Grand Prix. Hmm, some kind of tournament, I'm sure. Oh, I see some Pokemon. Oh, pfft. okay. Well, we got... Um, it is really interesting how in V-Jump, even though it's, you know, mostly like Shonen stuff, they have a little bit of Nintendo always in here, which I think is really interesting. That does say something, I think, about the relationship, but this is talking about the new Fire Emblem Three Houses game, and of course, the recent VR Nintendo Labo stuff. Very cool there. We got some uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield stuff. This is all, I think, things that we've already seen. Nothing too new here, but still very cool to see it represented. Well, isn't it crazy, though, that, like, all that hype around Sword and Shield, and now it's like, we don't even talk about it anymore, and it's still coming out this year? Crazy. Alright, so, new Pokemon stuff. This was, I believe, um, not the most recent set, but maybe the second most recent set up there with that, oh, that Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres is so sick! I love the tag team stuff. It's really cool that they have multiple Pokemon on there. Nonetheless, very cool. I'm um, actually, does that have a date when it comes out? I don't see it. I'm um, down there. You got some Detective Pikachu stuff. Um, I talked about it a little bit on tour, but I did see a movie. It was pretty enjoyable. Um, some of the pacing at some points was kind of like... A little eh, and sometimes the plot was a little bit confusing to follow, but for the most part, it was a really good time, especially if you're a Pokemon fan, you'll definitely really enjoy it, but I had a good time either way. I, I was nerding out the whole movie. <laughs> either way, though, um, very cool that they have some Detective Pikachu packs. I wonder if that's just like the same thing as the American one, where they're having it in like those file cases and like the Charizard and Mewtwo thing. Anyway, uh, whatever that is. Oh, Promise Neverland, okay. I saw the Wix Oss or whatever, and I was like, huh? Digimon stuff. Okay, very cool. That kind of looks like a figure. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what that is. Um, again, a lot of the stuff, you know, I'm into a lot of the stuff in the V-Jump, and a lot of the stuff I'm not into the V-Jump. I want to meet somebody who knows, like, every page of this V-Jump front to back exactly what they're looking at here, um, because I think that that would be uh, pretty impressive if they're into all this stuff and they collect all of it. Whoa, we're going to kind of skip right past that. YouTube, Miss, uh, Miss Susan wouldn't like that. Okay, so this is Code Reunion ZX. Um, this is a card game, as you can see by the side there. Um, there is a promo for this in this issue of V-Jump. I don't ever remember, at least in the V-Jumps that I've had and sort of seen, um, seeing a, even an ad for this. I don't remember. I mean, it is something, granted, that I would probably just look over, considering the stuff that I'm into that's contained in the V-Jump. But here is the promo card. Nice little sparkle hollow right there. Let me actually take it out of the um, the sleeve so you can see the um, so you can see the hollow a little bit better. That is actually a really pretty card. I'm not gonna lie, the hollow is pretty cool. It's like a um, a shattered hollow, and they also have the kind of like the dots in the background of the shattered hollow. Very cool stuff. She kind of looks like um oh what's her name? I think it starts with an M from Fire Emblem. Name can't come to me right now. Anyway, yeah. So uh, ZX Zillions of Enemy. What does this say? Let it be known, all of those foreign lands, a heartfelt wish cannot be destroyed, even when buried beneath rubble and ruin, and my wish will topple the divine providence, it shall become a sword to sever all boundaries. Interesting. Yeah, so again, I know nothing about this card game, unfortunately, although, again, I don't really remember seeing anything about it in V-Jump, but again, could have just looked over it. So maybe it's new, I don't know. I know that companies, uh, you know, do sometimes get promos in here just because they're, like, newer, like a newer card game or something like that. Okie dokie. Uh, ooh, hold up. We got Dragon Ball figures in the back. Why didn't, put, why didn't they put that in Dragon Ball Park? Okay, anyway. We keep on keeping on here. This is... That just looks like Black Clover. Yeah, I don't think that's a game or anything. I think that's just, like, genuinely just Black Clover. Okay, here we go, baby. This is my style. So this is the upcoming um, Dragon Ball Ichiban Kuji set. Why are they calling it S-Culture's Tag Team? 
I know like tag team because the whole point of the set is that each one of these, I mean, as you can kind of see, right, they sort of go together. The um, MUI Goku and the Blue Evo, the Super Saiyan Goku and Frieza, the two Broly's, you know, one Broly goes to Gogeta, the other goes to Goku. Maybe it's because the people who were, you know, in the S culture or worked on the S culture's line or like some of the people from that um, worked on this. I'm going to assume that's the case. Nonetheless, though, we've known about these figures for a while. I am getting um, these two Broly's. Unfortunately, the Frieza doesn't really do for me. Blue Ku, I have a bunch already. The Gogeta's face is kind of a little bit eh to me. Um, and the MUI and the um, Vegeta figure are just kind of like average for me. So, oh well, it'd be like that, you know. But I will be getting those two Vegeta's, or Broly's rather, so that'll be cool. Um, here's some of the other prizes you can see. They're doing this thing again. We're actually the, the thing up there with Goku. Um, they're doing that again with like the, um, it sort of looks like cells of animation, but I think it's just like sketches. Um, it's still very cool. You got some cups up there. You got some, I believe those are clear files. Nonetheless, though, very cool. Got some One Piece figures rocking over here. I'm wondering if they're going to have an Ichiban Kuji section like that at the end of every single um, one now. I don't know. I'd be curious to find out. I believe though. So now I have actually shown you every single promo card. They have... PlayStation? Really? I guess V-Jump just got it all, baby. Interesting. But yeah, that's going to do it, I believe, for this video. Not much else to kind of go over here, um, or not much else of, like, interest to us specifically. Um, I do want to show real quick. Um, oh, Sonic Team Racing. Cool. This thing right here, right, is where you would cut this open and you would get the codes. So as you can see, right... It shows um, on what page you can find all of the codes for. Um, page 83 is the one I'm going to be taking because that is the Fujikiri code. Um, but again, just kind of... Oh, oh yeah, this is the... Uh, in the back, they usually have a little um, little manga panel for like just kind of like the... Well, that said Bandai, but you know, sometimes it's like the people who like wrote the V-Jump or whatever, like put it together. I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's just a cute little thing in the back. Okay, yeah, that's going to definitely do it. Oh, we got another hold up. We got another real quick piece. Um, very cool. This is, I believe, I'm not exactly sure what this is talking about, um, but it does show a bunch of different Dragon Ball games down there, including your boy Buchigiri match. That might be everything that had a code in this V jump, I think. That's probably what that is in the orange there, because that looks about right. Well, that's adorable. <laughs> All right, that is going to do it for today's V-Jump. Hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, there's a table of context at the back. I didn't actually know that. Cool. So, yeah, definitely going to be popping that uh, that Buchigiri code here. Let's actually um, just show you real quick. So, like, 82, right, was where that said. And then we'll go to page 82. Well, actually, 82 is not that, but 83, right? That's where the Buchigiri code is. Anyway. That is going to do it for May 2019's issue of V-Jump. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. And let me know if you like this angle a little bit better. I definitely think it's better than the last one because you can actually see the full book instead of just me holding it like, like this up to the camera and kind of like panning it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Having you two out. Peace.